My dad had polio in the third grade, and so he was bedridden for a few months. Uh, luckily, a new invention, uh, the paint by number set, came out that year. And so he started painting by flipping the canvas over and painting things that he wanted to paint. With that, George Rodriguez knew exactly what he wanted. He studied art at UL and then Los Angeles, but Louisiana always had his heart. He decided to come back to Louisiana to paint it like he knew it, very dark and mysterious oak trees, uh, with this oak tree as kind of his pop art Andy Warhol Campbell soup can. George started with the oak trees, and I think it was a symbol of Louisiana that he exported around the world. Then came the blue dog. A lot of people ask, where does the blue dog come from? Well, it's all based on the legend of a Lou Garou, a Cajun werewolf dog. Growing up, his mom would always tell him, if you're bad today, the Lou Garou would get you tonight. And so he was painting this Lou Garou legend for a book of Cajun ghost stories. And he decided that he would use his old dog named Tiffany as the model for this Lou Garou, painting her bluish grayish under the full moon. And it was the people that called it the blue dog. But there was so much more to George beyond that of being a great artist. George is larger than life, a heart of solid gold, and an infectious laughter. George is a great artist, a great husband, a great father, and more importantly, a great Louisianian. George promoted his Acadian heritage, and he promoted South Louisiana, and he never forgot where he was from. He was a deep, deep thinker and a deep feeler, and many people didn't see that side of George. In 1994, George was honored as the king of the Mystic Crew, and one never knew what to expect. Instead of showing up in a tuxedo, he showed up in a black leather coat with a blue dog t-shirt. He didn't have a routine king's costume. He wore cowboy boots. My dad just had a great time. From what I remember, <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> he sure did. Uh, I think everyone remembers him uh, flashing the crowd, his red undershorts that he was wearing that day as king. It was, uh, truly was a unique, wonderful experience that he really enjoyed. In 2001, after 9-11, George helped America heal by doing what he does best. So the foundation has its roots in Blue Dog Relief a series of prints he did after 9-11 and Katrina hit to raise money for relief efforts. What he did to include children and in art in their future and the foundation that he set up to benefit so many children and ex expand the art he loves so much. What we're gonna do for the future is to make sure he's also known for his charitable work, the work through the foundation to help kids get a great education and that education should involve the arts. On December 14th, 2013, George passed away after a long battle with cancer. He will long be remembered for who he was and what he gave Louisiana and the world. George was a generous guy, both in heart and spirit and with his resources. Vous avez raté, George. Repose en paix, mon ami. Bonsoir.